base of the altar. You're taking an inanimate object and you're turning it into a living object. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because the blood will give life to the altar so that when your sacrifice is being given up, it is transformed from the state of death to a state of living once it's been totally considered because the blood of Jesus, the scripture said, speak far better things than the blood of Abel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. So the blood begins to talk on your behalf. When you pour out your soul, it's your blood that begins to speak on your behalf. That gets mingled with the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. And your blood begins to talk to his blood and the two voices. Hallelujah, Jesus. Instead of becoming two, they communicate to become one. Hallelujah, Jesus. And the oneness of God that enters into our spirit. Hallelujah. When his blood becomes a part of my blood. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's why the scriptures say that marriage is a mystery. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because the two shall become one. Hallelujah, Jesus.
that someone is over you or someone that is around you has left the paths of righteousness and now has come after a demon spirit, then you become ensnared and entrapped by that spirit that is in them that will now pursue you. So in other words, it wasn't just Saul that was pursuing David, but now because of a demon spirit that he had entertained, the whole host of hell was hotly on his trail. Hallelujah, Jesus. So this whole prayer changes into the dynamics because it's not about a man chasing another man and one army in pursuit of another army, but now we're talking about the kingdom of darkness being in pursuit. And my question to you is, have you opened yourself up to a demonic spirit or influence? Hallelujah, Jesus. Because if you have opened yourself up to a demonic spirit or influence, then you are now impacting and affecting all of us. Hallelujah, Jesus. And you need to have that spirit stripped out of you. Now, the other thing that got me about this word we are in is this. Not only did it mean demon. But it also meant Z. Z O O. The Z that you visit. Which means that these demons aren't just normal demons, but these demons are animalistic in their nature. So, in other words, their instinct as it goes with demons is not only to destroy you, but this demon is designed to completely annihilate you and destroy you from within and without. It is designed to gut you like a fish and leave you for dead. Hallelujah, Jesus. So he set this trap to catch him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Down to verse 4. Now David begins to pray. He said, God, I look on my right hand. Right hand is always a place of, of what? Position of power, authority, and favor. So now he says, I look on my right hand. The right hand here means a place again of favor. But he looked there and he found nothing favorable that he should hope in. Everything was hopeless. Hallelujah, Jesus. So down here in verse 4, he said, I looked on my right hand. So remember the psalm that we're talking about David is in 1 Samuel 22. So let me briefly run through the list of characters here real quick. So that you know why it's so significant. Amen. First we have David. Then we have David that is running from Saul. Then we have, we have Ahimelech, who is the priest of the Lord, who was fearful because David came to him. Then you had Dorg, who was a, an Edomite, who was there, who was watching David when he spoke to the priest. Okay? An Edomite is full of hatred, full of merit, murder. Full of wrath, they're revengeful, and they invoke fear. So now you got this man at the temple seeing David communicating with the priest. The priest is in fear. The land is full of everything that I just mentioned. And now Saul is pursuing him. So when Saul finds out where David was, he has all the priests of God slain, killed, even a Amalek. Then David runs to Achish, who is the king of the Philistines. But David is fearful of Achish, the king of the Philistines. So you see what you have bouncing back and forth here. You got a bunch of fearful fear that is being imposed on him because now he's in flight. Station break. <laughs> So now David is being pursued by the spirit 